My name is Brenda Achere, and yeah. we are going to be discussing the current situation of hospitals in Africa. I'm Meleme Fojo, originally from Cameroon. You said I'm a senior biomedical scientist at uh, Bill Kings General Hospital. So I work in the chemical pathology department. Uh, my my, you know, my involvement with quality management uh, started when I attended uh, some hospitals in Nigeria. I would, like, I would like to talk to our people in Africa, especially our manager from hospital. People I'm born there, I go in Cameroon. Manager, you need to set up your mind to help your employee to carry out objective, the goal that you have set to satisfy the patient. I know patient satisfaction vocabulary does not exist in Africa. But please, make sure that you are employee, you are doctor, your staff knows exactly what the patient needs and what they want. Because there are many indicators, there are many factors now. Those patients are very responsive to the poor care a family member receive and it is time now to check all the care given to meet the requirement of patient and the family thank you uh, but from a private laboratory side of things the owner of private labs they are willing they you know they i see a lot of them putting in the money you know they are there's improvements you know there's several I I improvements but the government-owned laboratory, it's its just, it, it's nothing to write home about. I will say that, you know, because Ibada is my own hometown, but the, it's nothing to write home about. They don't want to spend the money to improve the quality system. They don't want to spend the money to train and educate their lab tech technicians to, you know, obviously carry out what they are doing properly. Because a lot of the knowledge they have is from what they take from school. It's different. What you learn from school is different than when you're actually working in the lab. It's completely different. Um, you sometimes there are some quality things you're not taught at school, but once you start working and you don't have the knowledge, okay, why do I need to wear gloves? For example, why do I need to wear gloves? Why do I need to make sure when I'm uh, taking, you know, drawing a blood from a patient, I am not cross matching. I am not, I have labeled the sample correctly for that patient. I'm not trying to do 10, 10 or 20 patients at the same time. So a lot of this from lack of education of what it means to have a quality system um, in place. Every hospital, every laboratory needs improvement. What's the, 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 the vision or the goal of every organization is to improve, you know? And what is growth? Growth is when you provide to your patients satisfaction. And satisfaction is through arranging these processes, you know, improving the quality. So we are talking back to you. Don't forget, accept and improve. If you cannot measure it, you cannot improve. Thank you very much, Mary May. Don't forget, Mary May already put the message out there for you. Ty will put the message out there for you. So you're not going to be alone in this journey. We are here for you. Come to us. We're going to hold hands and do it together. Thank you very much for watching.